All right, welcome to Sneaker Gears, and today we're doing a performance gears comparison on what is the best Kyrie performing shoe. So we're going to be comparing one through four and the Kyrie Low. If you notice, the only two I'm missing is the S1 Hybrid, which performance-wise is going to be pretty much exactly the same as the Kyrie One. Although you could say that maybe the lockdown has improved the Velcro strap, as well as the new Kyrie Fly Trap, which is the budget model. Which I don't think there's anything positive or that has anything going on any of his signature shoes as far as improving on a single area other than it's cheaper. My point to that would be if you want to get it cheaper, wait a little bit because even the Kyrie 4s, this newest shoe, has been discounted to around $80 in most places. So you can still have a performance and signature shoe without breaking the bank. So let's get in through see what's the top five. Number five, unfortunately, is the Kyrie One. So that is just because it used a super hard fuse upper. This thing felt really, really cheap. I believe initially this launched for 105, so it is the cheapest of the bunch, and now they've worked their way up to 120. But the only nice thing I did like about the shoe is that it have four foot zoom, so you were able to use a Nike Zoom SB unit and have that heel zoom. So it did have a kind of a nice ride. Traction was hit and miss. I think overall I had pretty good success with it uh had some slippage it, it was decent but it did bring along that traction that went all the way up the midsole which was kind of unique at that time fairly lightweight but really cheap shoe style wise i'm kind of glad they brought back this kind of 3d uh printed sole back on the Kyrie low and we'll get to that soon but this is your number five Kyrie in your Kyrie one Number four is your Kyrie 3. So this guy was apparently a nice step up in materials. They did a great job. They kept that rounded outsole on here that they launched for the Kyrie 2. This did have the same kind of cushion setup they did for the 2 and the 3 as far as having the heel loaded top zoom and just nothing in the forefoot. Same thing as the Kyrie 2. The problem with this is the materials were upgraded. They did give it a nice style. They have some really cool designs for the Kyrie 3 and I think aesthetically it did very well but the lack of cushion even though it was maybe a little better than the Kyrie 2 and the traction I think took a step back these are not much better than the Kyrie ones not to say they're bad but I think the other Kyrie's really took a huge step as far as being some of the best traction shoes you can get on the market court feel is good on these style was amazing on these but overall it just comes in at number four Number three is the Kyrie Lowe's, and I wish these came in higher. I do have a full performance reviews on these, and the traction is probably the best of the bunch. This is the only one with Zoom Air heel and forefoot, but overall, this has the worst lockdown, the worst containment. Uh, it just doesn't work for the fit and stability of the shoe, especially when you have a lineup that is really made to have lockdown fit so you can be as quick as possible on the court. Now, the cushion setup is really nice because you do have that court feel that you got in the two and the three, but you still have impact protection. It looks good. The materials have been upgraded. It's kind of like what they did in the Kyrie 3, and they did have some throwback with that coming from the Kyrie 1 with the diamond kind of 3D shapes here. So overall, number three, Kyrie of all time is your Kyrie Low. All right, and the only one that matches is your number two is your Kyrie 2. So this is probably the second worst cushion shoe I've ever tried. It is incredibly, incredibly firm. You do feel the heel zoom, but there is nothing here. You are low to the ground. You definitely feel quick. This introduced that rounded outsole where you really have full contact with the ground no matter what movement you make. The traction on this is Hall of Fame level. This is as good, maybe a quarter step back, not even a full step, than the Kyrie Low, but the traction is unbelievable. The lockdown with how this strap pulls you back into the heel is incredible you never feel like your foot's going anywhere you feel fast and this is something to mention if you are have if you do have a Kyrie or you like the Kyrie line our sneaker gears velocity insoles really take this up a notch you don't have to spend the money on a co on the LeBron the Kobe line or a KD spending 150 plus dollars to get that high-end cushion you can spend $36 on the sneaker gears the velocity insole and you're getting a high-end cushion with everything else the Kyrie line offers our insole combined with the Kyrie 2 this thing is absolutely phenomenal so why was it beat our number one as you guessed it is the Kyrie 4 
and you know what it just comes down to being a total package and you can see by so many nba players wearing this the materials are finally upgraded and really nice they work with your foot the forefoot being a much softer mesh even though obviously there's some plastic there the rear i love depending on the model you got they've had suede leather rubber they've just done the different kind of materials obviously harking back to the Kyrie 3 but just done really really well as far as the outsole the way it comes up here again taking cues from maybe the Kyrie 1 but your foot sits in there so the containment on this for lateral movements is phenomenal and I personally love it when they do either a marbling which you've seen that I loved in the Kyrie 3 or when they do the different colors on the outsole where to me aesthetically this just looks really really nice now the big thing that makes this number one is this is the first time they've done a full length cushion setup with Kushlon. They haven't done Kushlon on a Nike basketball shoe since, uh, please guys, correct me if I'm wrong, the Kobe 7 with the drop in midsole in there. And it works so well. It, you have court feel, you have impact protection. This has a top loaded heel zoom unit that again, you feel that impact protection. And the traction is really durable. This is something you can buy and wear all year round. Wear on the court, off the court. You're never worried about, man, I need to get an outdoor shoe. And on top of that, the traction is really good. I've had nothing but success in this. Now, is the Kyrie 2 and the Kyrie L a little bit better traction? Yeah, but you know what? The fact that you may have to wipe the once a game it's not going to be a drawback overall the Kyrie 4 is the best Kyrie today and right now they are on sale in most places especially in the different colorways this is definitely one you can pick up multiple pairs you can enjoy and if you're wondering if you want to put the velocity insole on in this you definitely can and it's going to make it a lot bouncier ride I can tell you the Kyrie 2 the 3 the low kind of need the velocity insole to make it very enjoyable you don't need it in this one I always want to be completely honest with you guys but when you do add it in there, you are adding that kind of KD LeBron level of cushioning in something like the Kyrie line where you're getting that match level of containment, lockdown, and traction over either one of those lines. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this top five video. The Kyrie line has been, I believe, Nike's number one selling lineup for a while now. So, and the fact that they've branched out into doing the hybrids and the budget models, and obviously now the low tops, nothing going but up. I really hope the Celtics go all the way this year. And I'm rooting for Kyrie. Can't wait to see what they do with the Kyrie 5. If they're going to stay with the cushion line, if they're going to change it up, if they're going to add a strap. But top five Kyries, there you go. If you disagree with me, if you agree, leave your comments below. Hit me up on Instagram, on Facebook, and Twitter. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe below if you want to see any more content coming out. As always, really appreciate you guys, and I'll come at you soon.